St. Peter's Square at the Vatican holds 100,000 people in any ceremony presided over by the Pope. But the vastness of Nyeri County in May will be holding 300,000 people. Kenyan Catholic faithfuls and dignitaries across the world as they come to witness the beatification of Sister Irene Stephanie Nyava. The Dedan Kimathi University of Technology will be the center of a religious and cultural heritage when its grounds host thousands of Catholic faithful for the beatification ceremony in an event that will place the university credited with imparting technological knowledge on its students on the world map. On Friday the 22nd of May, our roads will be leading to Our Lady of Divine Providence Gikondi Church where Nyada lived and served for a night vigil. Recently, Pope... Uh Francis, mm -hmm. recent, I think last year, no, 20, last year, 2014, decreed, give a decree that out of the miracle there is nothing starts on the way, so Sister Irene can be declared blessed. Mm -hmm. in, a, in a ceremony that we call beatification. Uh, we must see at the start, beatification is not canonization. With thousands of faithful from across the world planning to attend the night vigil, the state of roads in the area continues to worry the organizers. Concerning the infrastructure, especially roads, yes. uh, we charge, we are all plead actually with the national, uh, national government and the county government to do something, especially the roads that goes to Gekondi, especially from Mukurene. Mm -hmm. They are in the pathetic situation. And this time around, we call it Tigadano, you know, it's like the winter yes. of Europe. Roads are, most of the roads are impassable. They are in bad condition. Some of the visitors, delegates have started, you know, coming to look, to see in advance where the, these uh, historic places, and they have seen the roads, how they look like. They feel challenged, like with the drone, you know, to come. Delegates from the Vatican and the Pope delegate, in this case, Cardinal Polika Pengo, will be at the venue. President Uhuru Kenyatta will be leading the government side as he hosts dignitaries, including invited heads of state. John Cardinal Njue, the head of a Catholic church in Kenya, will be the mass celebrant, while Cardinal Pengo will be tasked with reading the beatification invocations on behalf of Pope Francis. As a Pope delegate, we expect even the state to receive him and even uh, bring him to that big celebration. Holy Father has also uh, delegated Cardinal John Cardinal Njue, the Archbishop of Nairobi, is our Cardinal here. He will be the main celebrant of that day. At least so that maybe everybody else, the main, the rock course may, 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 may oh, follow. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I think even that is the main reason that Cardinal Peru Capengo is one leading because he, he can lead in Latin, mm. Italian, English, Swahili, because he, 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 he comes from this area and he knows the language. Mm. Sunday the 24th, a procession from the Mathari Catholic Church where the remains of Sister Irene Stephanie Nya other lies who head to the Nyeri Archdiocese Cathedral right at the heart of Nyeri town carrying the remains. It is inside this church that the remains of Nya other will be kept in a tamper-proof aluminium coated stand. After Mass, we are going to have the relics of Sister Irene here in the Cathedral of Our Lady of Conserata. This is going to be very great for us. Because as she came all the way from Italy as a missionary and she works in the Yukondi, and then when she died, she was buried here. She is also going to uh, motivate our Christians also to serve, become saints through works of mercy, namely to show that love, compassion, care, concern for the poor, for the needy, and also for the sick. So that's why I said that now. This day on 23rd and 24th, when she's going to be canonized, it's going to be very important, not only for uh, Agda Sonieri, but the whole uh, country of our country, Kenya. <laughs> yes. The news of the beatification and the actual ceremony has excited residents of the entire Nyeri County with traders upbeat of our opportunities presented by the ceremony. But while the national government and the county government continues to pledge support to ensure that the all-important function runs smoothly, the actions have not served much to assure the locals and organizers that the state of infrastructure and preparedness towards hosting such a great number of delegates from across the country will not leave the host country with egg on the face. Jung Jacob Curia, Channel 1.